Hey friends, all right, this month we are going deep onto this topic of money. And with the idea of helping you transform the relationship that you have with your money and your finances in your life and in your business. I'm Hillary Johnson, the founder of Hatch Tribe, and I work with women entrepreneurs just like you to help you develop a successful business and one that's gonna be around to last the test of time. And I gotta tell you, money is a big part of that. So I wanted to start today by telling you a little story about myself so we, we can pick on me for a minute. I've been thinking about my own money mindset, what I learned growing up as a kid and how that's affected how I show up around money now in my own life and in my own business. So I grew up in a middle-class family. My dad worked full-time and my mom worked mostly part-time throughout most of my life. And I would say that if I thought of one prevailing thing that was sort of always present, it was like finding a good deal. So we didn't live extravagantly, we were very middle class, but I feel like my dad especially, so dad, I'm picking on you, I love you for this, but my dad was like, he would look for a good deal. It was like in search of something where we wouldn't have to spend so much money but could get a good experience, you know, so there was like this, this little bar like good experience but not too much money ah but i felt like money always won out it was like always about there being like a good deal and so as i've grown up i have noticed how that has flared up so a really good example of this which i thought was so curious i went to buy a car several years ago and when i was there in the dealership and we were trying to negotiate on price i said well you know, I guess I could just let go of like the sunroof, like maybe to me that's not that important. And the guy looked at me and he goes, I just want you to think about this. Now, mind you, I realize this is a car salesman, but I think that this is a really valid point. He goes, I really want you to think about this though. Like this is the car that you're getting ready to spend probably the next three, five, eight years of your life in, depending on how you want to own that car. And he was like, do you want that? Like, is that part of the experience that you want is having that sunroof? And I was like, well, hell yeah, it is. I want a damn sunroof. Oh, so I might need to spend more money because it is the type of experience I want. So when it comes to travel, this is another place where it's shown up again for me. I can be hustling to find a deal on a hotel room so much so that I am like cutting out a good experience, like even having a good night's sleep because I book a busy corner where like there's cars going all night long instead of spending $20 more and going right around the corner to where we know it's quiet based on reviews. Okay, so that's just me. I'm honestly often looking for a deal. And sometimes that really rears its head. Like sometimes I need to spring a little more money for a great experience. Sometimes my miser-like tendencies really flare their head and it's like, what if you just spent $10 more, dude? You wouldn't have spent like the last freaking whatever hour trying to find this place that was cheap. Do you follow me? Okay. So I want you to ask yourself, what are the stories that float around in your own head about money? And I will tell you that there's a lot that are really common that I hear from women, especially from other entrepreneurs. Things like, I just hate asking for money. Like, I don't like the whole like charging for what I do. I never feel confident in that. I, like there's a real struggle around like putting an invoice out there. And then what happens if like someone doesn't pay and I have to go try to collect on that invoice? How much should I be charging? Is this too much? No, you're right. I should probably price it lower. And then immediately there's like discounting before we've even floated a price to a customer. Does any of this sound familiar to you? This is the thing I want to add to this. No matter where your head's at around money, no matter what the stories are that you've been telling yourself, they are simply that. They are stories. And oftentimes I hear them become a real crutch. I hear it, I hear it in clients who bring up the same issue to me again. Like, but I just, I hate asking for money. I hate asking for money. I hate asking for money. Dude, how long are you gonna stay committed to that story? Like, are you committed to that story so much that you are not willing to find your solution to the other side to grow in another direction? Really, I need you to think about that. Are you so transfixed with that story that you want it to define everything about you from now forward? It hasn't served you well to this point, otherwise we wouldn't be having this conversation. So how do we get to the other side? So obviously this isn't something that happens overnight, but I wanted to provide just a thought, and this is just how we'll open this can of worms. 
if you thought about your business and let's just say we'll use a hundred thousand dollars because i find this number often opens people's eyes like what if you were able to earn a hundred thousand dollars more in your business than you do right now so if you're earning zero you grow to hundred thousand dollars a year if you're earning fifty thousand you grow to hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year what would that mean to you if you were doing that and then who would you be you know who are you when you're making hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year how do you show up how are you behaving how are you being right i suspect that these excuses we've had about money i don't like charging for money i'm probably asking for too much blah blah, blah. that shit's gone if we're already in this other camp like i've made the money we need to behave as if we're already in this new camp we need to behave as if we've made it we have a great relationship with money and you can't think your way through this stuff sometimes it's just like dropping in and being like you know what i'm just going i'm just going we have to change our frame of mind around these things right so it's gonna take work and i i really get that and i'm not suggesting you're gonna watch this video and be cured and that is why i'm inviting you to join us inside the hatch tribe member circle in our brand new course that's called mind on your money it's a course where we tackle some very specific things that start with mindset so we can dig into this piece and really get an idea of like where are you starting from like really what might be holding you back that's getting in the way of you building this badass business and making really freaking good money whatever that means to you okay so i invite you join us in the hatch tribe member circle you can join as a monthly member check it out get a feel for what we do and jump right into this course or join us as an annual member you will get access to all of our courses beyond just mind on your money and there's a bunch of stuff in there as well as this incredible community and this is what we do we're there to support you every step of the way we believe in collaboration over competition and what that means is you can show up and ask questions and we've got you bring your questions we'll help answer them and you know all of us are entrepreneurs we're, we're walking the same path as you we want to help you succeed and we're there with you a hundred percent of the way with mind on your money our goal is to help you develop a better relationship with your finances so that in your life and in your business you can look at it and be like cool it might not be perfect today but i know that i can look at this information and start to embrace a new relationship around money that will be productive for me as i continue to grow my business so I encourage you jump on in you'll find all the details at hatchtribe.com slash member circle up with the link below find us join us and let's do this thing girl I am ready are you ready all right talk to you soon